I'm Rachel Joy Fi, and I went on vacation to New York City. I mean, I'm going on vacation to New York City. By the time you see this, I will have gone to New York City, but right now, I'm filming this the day before I leave. I'm not packed yet. And I'm just gonna presume that I had a great time and it was amazing to hang out with my mom and see the sights of New York City, but I wanted to do a little video first. I should be packing instead of filming, but you know. So I wanted to interview myself post a vacation. Hey Rachel. Hey. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Hit me with your best questions. I may have gone back from vacation a, a little less than a week ago, so hopefully I can actually remember what happened on vacation. Awesome! So first question, how long were you gone? Okay, so from June 15 to 18, my mom and I were at a moderately sized city because she had something for work, and then on the 18th, we flew to New York City from, so it's from the 18th to the 22nd, and then on the 23rd, we actually got home. How was your flights to and from New York? Any troubles? They actually went really well. On the two flights to New York, uh, I wasn't sitting with my mom, but on the second flight, the one that goes over New York City and you get to see it from the window, this lady let me switch so I could sit by the window. And on the way back to Iowa, we had one flight and I got to, to sit next to my mom and I got to sit next to the window. What were some of the main things that you did? Oh man, we did so many things in such a short amount of time. Let's see if I can remember them all. We saw Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, the 9-11 Memorial. We went up the Empire State Building. We went up the Rockefeller Building. We saw Times Square. We saw a Broadway show, Fiddler on the Roof. Um, oh, we went to Chinatown in Little Italy. That was nice. Oh, and we also went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Natural History Museum. We were in the Met for about four hours, and I feel like I didn't see half of what I wanted to. There was so much amazing art there, and I could have spent all day there. Van Gogh's, Vermeer's, Renoir's, Monet's, Manet's. Oh. How did you travel around? Well, as a typical vacation, Mom and I mostly walked everywhere. <laughs> We walked so much. That's part of the experience too, just to walk around different cities is great. But other than walking, we also took the metro. Ooh, I have a metro card. Metro card. Yeah, this was so easy, surprisingly. And, and it was amazing because our hotel was so central. Oh, oh, we also went to Central Park. That was something else we did, but our hotel was so central. Like, it was a couple blocks from Times Square, and it was a great hotel. And it was right next to a pizza place. I loved that pizza. What was the weather like? Were there any strong moments of, like, extreme heat or raining, etc., etc.? The weather was actually pretty great. It's June, of course, so the weather's still kind of warm, but there were a couple days where when it would be really hot weather, we would be inside at museums, and when we went to Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island, it was, like, kind of hot outside, but not scorching hot And as you're waiting in line to get back on... Uh, New York City, I, uh, I can't speak right now. <laughs> and the day after we left, I think they had a 100% chance of rain, but it never rained or any like bad weather like that when we were there. What was your favorite food that you ate there? We ate a lot from Little Italy. We got some TGI Fridays, Applebee's, but mostly what my favorite food was that we ate there was pizza, New York style pizza. Yes! So there was the Radio City Pizza, and they had a chicken bacon ranch pizza, and that, that was probably my favorite thing that I ate there. Did you try any crazy foods? Not really. We had some cannolis from Little Italy. That's probably as crazy as we got. Did you have New York City style pizza? Yes, I did. I ate it twice, and I loved it. Did I pack well? You did! Did you... I, we forget anything to pack? We actually didn't! You know, maybe we packed too many shorts and capris, but we knew that ahead of time. We knew that we were packing way too many. What was something that you did that surprised you? How much you actually enjoyed it? Ooh, uh, I think Ellis Island really surprised me because I kind of forgot how much I loved 
kind of learning about Ellis Island and that sort of time period when I was younger. And the Ellis Island kind of museum or tours and movies and stuff are so interesting. And it's just a part of history. And then you kind of learn it when you're younger. But just to revisit it is just... Ah, I really, really liked Ellis Island. That was really good. Oh, what this reminds me, there was something I was kind of excited for, but then when I saw it for the first time, I was kind of like, oh, this doesn't really meet my expectations. But then it like grew and it like, I loved it by the end was Times Square. Because you know, you see Times Square and all the, the movies and the YouTube videos and you're like, yeah, Times Square. But then when you get there, you're just like, why do we care about all these advertisements? But then by the end of the trip, I just loved just being in Times Square and seeing all the people and what was something that you were super excited for and lived up to your expectations? I try not to have too many expectations when going on vacation because everything will then exceed my expectations, but Statue of Liberty was great. Uh, the 9-11 memorial, oh, that was super great. That, I had expectations for that and then that was wonderful, exceeded them. Any embarrassing moments? Surprisingly, no, no embarrassing moments. We did have to haul our luggage to and from the bus to our hotel, which was several, several blocks, but I, I don't think that was embarrassing, you know? That wasn't that embarrassing. Explain your emotions during the trip in one sound. Uh, it would probably be. What is one song or musician that you listen to a lot this trip? I didn't listen to that much music during the trip, but on the way there, I listened to a lot of Heathens by 21 Pilots. Because why not? And then I also listened to a lot of Hamilton. We did get to see the outside of the Richard Rogers Theater. We didn't get to see Hamilton, but that was okay. I, I just listened to Hamilton on the way to New York and then I just I just had it in my mind whenever we were walking through the streets and <laughs> But yeah, mostly I listened to Heathens, Hamilton, and some Muse drones album. Listen to any good podcasts? No, I downloaded so many podcasts onto my iPod. The Rent Link one, Grace Helbig, blah 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 some more podcasts, but I didn't listen to any of them. How big is the Statue of Liberty? Real big. What is one thing or more than one thing that you learned on this trip? Ooh, I learned so many things on this trip. I learned a lot about 9-11 from the museum. Like, I didn't know there was more than two Trade Center buildings. Probably because I was four when that happened, but I, I just didn't know there were more than... There was, a, there was nine buildings, I think, and I, that just kind of... I didn't know that. And just generally there's so much information at the 9-11 museum and just kind of like minute by minute stuff and then different perspectives like from the firemen or the policemen or the civilians or the journalists or politicians. It was just super interesting. Ooh, I also learned that the Rockefeller Center was where this picture was taken. A, and then there's a picture of me next to the picture. <laughs> and like I said before, they have a lot of information about Ellis Island and I just love that so much. Almost a duck dinosaur. <laughs> if you could describe this trip in three words or three phrases, what would it be? Oh, I didn't think about this at all. I would describe it as lots of people, one, one phrase, lots of people, lots of walking, Lots of fun. <laughs> and if there had to be a fourth word, it would be art because I love art. <laughs> awesome. So if you want to say some last thoughts about your trip to New York, that would be great. As you can probably tell from this video, I had a great time in New York City. When I was younger, I never really had this dream to go to New York, but being there was so great. And I really love the city lifestyle and... Yes, I don't know what this is. I got some awesome souvenirs too. I got this New York City shirt from just some random tourist place. 10 postcards for a dollar. This one's my favorite. I got this at Central Park. Wicked and fan of the opera. <laughs> magnets. I didn't even see these, but I got the magnets. I also got these four really cool magnets. Kind of like a magazine style. Got a black and white with uh, twin towers. Kind of the cityscape. And then the ledge picture. And surprise, surprise, I got more magnets. This shop 
I don't remember what the shop was called, but they had such cute stuff. Look at these drawings, they're so cute. And I also got this cool Metro magnet. I got so many magnets. I am set. And I got some keychains. And the Aeropostale that's on Times Square is closing down. So everything's like 70% off. So I got this hoodie, what I like to call the Statue of Liberty green hoodie for $10. And it says Times Square. I also got a shirt, but I, I don't know where that shirt is right now. Oh, I also got some cool, cool coins on the Statue of Liberty. Island. Liberty Island? Is that what it's called? I also just learned that Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty are not on the same island. First time I learned that. The more you know. This cool Statue of Liberty coin. And then... And this is the same thickness of copper as the Statue of Liberty. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just had a great time. I had an awesome time. Well, thank you for letting me interview you, Rachel. You are very welcome, Rachel. Okay, so do you wanna do the outro? Sure. Thank you for watching this video. I had an amazing time and Thank you for watching me ramble through <laughs> talking about this trip. I hope that you like this video and I hope that you have a great day. I swiped my lip when I said that. Awesome. Said, welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. I saw him just a Broadway couple of blocks. He was going to see a play. I'll go visit his box. In the greatest city in the world. In the greatest city in the world.